So, uh, from all accounts, my wife and even Ed was telling me last night, Tokyo is now a ghost town. Um, foreigners are, are uh, getting the heck out of there. And, um, you know, and my wife was even saying tonight, it's like, is it true? Why, you know, why are so many foreigners just leaving? Um, and I explained to her that a million people died at Chernobyl. And um, you know, when it comes to radiation, you know, people are afraid. And there's nothing more scary about a nuclear um, disaster. You know, we're, again, I'm very fortunate because we've got mountains between us and the disaster. So, you know, we're pretty, we're, you know, it's un unlikely that we'll be affected. But you got to think of the big picture again. So, I mean, help Japan go. <laughs> um, you know, this could create a massive, massive uh, financial meltdown. If Japan, I mean, think about it. If Japan, because of this, because they, I mean, Tokyo is, is their industrial, is their industrial business center. It is the one of the, uh, it's a $30 million city that, 30 million um, inhabitant city, that's a crucial player in the world markets. And if, um, you know, it, if, if foreigners refer, refuse to work there, if, if airlines refuse to fly in there, you know, air, I mean, people who, who are the, who work on airlines and, and the pilots and stuff, um, and as a result, the, the, the Japan uh, exchange, you know, takes a dive, it could have a significant, a significant effect on Wall Street on Monday. You know, you know what I'd be doing right now? I'd be shorting all my stocks. It's Sunday, it's a weekend. I would be shorting the shit out of my stocks. I'd <laughs> be like, <laughs> everything's, I mean, why would shit go up when Tokyo is emptying out? This is my question. So if you're a buddy of mine and you got stocks, maybe I'm wrong, I'm just saying. I don't know, it just seems likely to me that Come Monday morning, there's gonna be a lot of people saying, "Hey, let's uh, let's take this. Let's uh, there's gonna be some stocks going down um, because it's now this is that the other deaths are gonna be potentially good because other things go up. But you know, when when um, radiation is never good. Radiation is just you know, let's just kill everything." indiscriminately so all right proactive I mean again I mean this is you know is even more calling for our uh, social venture help Japan Co we're a social venture and um, you don't know what I'm doing basically I've established a social venture here uh, that aims to bring um, cutting edge solutions to problems. And, um, you know, one of the solutions that we would be bringing to the market to deal with a problem is something called Onsen Let. The Onsen Let is basically a, uh, a porta shower, okay? Um, our technology is going to basically convert any porta let into a, a, a bathing unit that we're gonna to deliver to the shelters. And we're going to use, as part of the system, we're gonna use um, the, the uh, jerry can, uh, which is a lifesaver jerry can, which is, it's, on, it's one of those big Toyu containers and square things that fits on the back of a truck. Um, and, uh, you know, anyway, so, it's important because people aren't bathing right now. We should get them into into showers, into baths, and I, you know, and I'm and I'm the only guy that I know that has a solution how to do that within 30 days. I mean, right now I don't know where people are showering, or but there's 500,000 people without home without a home that are unable to get showers except for maybe wash themselves in in, in some water when they get hold of it. But that water is also important for drink, for cooking and drinking. So, why not deliver them units that they can take water from anywhere and use that water for washing? 
that just is no brainer. And number two, they use that, you know, for their rice. So, and number three, they use it for their green tea. And those are the things in order that is important to, to, um, to a Japanese washing rice and tea. Washing rice and tea. What I want to make sure is that every Japanese, every 500,000 Japanese, can wash, can eat rice, and drink tea. So that's a great campaign slogan for us: is wash, rice, and tea. Thanks. I just thought that up right now. You know, on two hours sleep. <laughs>